Hello, friends. I'm Cristiana Figueres, former Executive Secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, leading the negotiations of the Paris Agreement. I am truly honored to introduce the performance of the San Jose Costa Rica variation of the uncertain Four Seasons, performed by the Costa Rican New Orchestra under the baton of Ismael Pacheco. I am particularly moved to introduce this concerto because it was my father's favorite musical composition. And as children, we listened to it almost every night around the fireplace. At the beginning of the 18th century, Vivaldi experienced a seasonal flow in Europe that was as inspirational to him as it was predictable and stable for nature. Today, seasonal flows in every continent have been disrupted by advancing climate change and biodiversity loss. Environmental certainty has evolved into environmental chaos and seasons are now uncertain everywhere. The concerto you are about to hear reflects changes we're experiencing in our own Costa Rica. We used to have four hot months in the year, now we have six and climbing. The strong winds in the north used to blow January to March, now they blow January to May. We're getting much more rain on the Atlantic side and much less rain on the Pacific side of the country. All wild organisms, including trees and plants, are moving from the now hotter lowlands up the slopes to cooler altitudes. We are witnessing an insect apocalypse. The uncertain four season seeks to reflect this new reality. Musical beats have been dropped to create a feeling of irregularity and insecurity. Musical notes have been removed from the original score in proportion to species extinctions. Changes in rainfall patterns are reflected in change speeds of various parts of the music. We are in an uncertain world, but what we know with certainty is that this is a challenge we cannot afford to ignore. We stand at the most important moment in the history of humanity when our actions and decisions today will affect the quality of all life on this planet for decades to come. In order to keep disruption within a manageable range, we must reduce our current level of emissions by 50% by the end of this decade. That is our task. It must also be our commitment.